everyone, it's Caroline Wu here in Beijing. You're watching Channel Plus. Have you ever wondered how the ancients spent their spare time hundreds and thousands of years ago? Today, you are going to follow me to the Museum of Ancient Chinese Toys to play, to play with, and have fun with those traditional toys. So, join us today as the museum curator, Mr. Chu. Welcome, Huang Yang. <laughs> Yay! So whoever is there watching, please say hi to us, okay? Today we are here at the museum. This is the balcony. It's a little bit hot here, so please say hi to us. And share and like this video. It's a bit hot. And we are here at the museum to play with the traditional toys, traditional Chinese toys. It's a lot of fun, and I'm very excited about this. Let's take a look at what's in front of me. All those toys, take a look over here. All those toys are what existed thousands of years ago. Well, of course, some of them, they're actually, you know, newly renovated and uh, something are uh, actually newly designed, of course, but it's based on the concept in ancient China. So this one, the jigsaw, which we have all tried out before we played with this before. And this is what exist, existed thousands of years ago in China. So now I'm going to, I have to uh, show you my intelligence of how to play with this thing. But uh, I don't know how this thing, how does this thing work. Um, let's see if I can do this, okay? I think this is definitely uh, show, uh, I would say practice, a practice of a, an individual's intelligence. <laughs> it's not working. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I would say this is a definitely a uh, an exercise for your intelligence. Let's see how the curator, how fast can he do this? All right, this is a jigsaw that's in front of us. Wow, we got a lot of people. Welcome, whoever is there watching, please say hi to us. We have Terry, and we have uh, we have uh, Monica, we have Jose, and also and wow, he is fast. We have such a brilliant gentleman right here to show us how fast he can do this. We have Ruby and Tim and Budge and Paul. Hi, Mike. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, everyone. I'm really glad you guys are here with us. So ancient Chinese toys have a history of thousands of years, and uh, they are actually an in, in, uh, they're actually an inte integral part of traditional Chinese culture. And I would say that they um, are not only showing the uh, artistic value, they're of high artistic value, but also practical value and also the ornamental value, like what's in front of us. We'll break it down for you in just a second. What we have, all those things, they're not only have the uh, practic practical value because they are, you can, you know, fill this with the tea, the black tea, the Chinese tea. They are having the practical value, but also having the ornamental value. If you place them on the table, like this one, this is definitely a such an ornament, beautiful or ornament. On the table, this is an apple we have, and you don't notice actually what they are, right? You do not, definitely do not know what they are. Let me put this thing back. I did not successfully done this thing, uh, but, I just wanted to show you all those things look so beautiful and you can fill them with tea. So let me tell you what they are. This is actually called the fair mug, all those things, uh, the fair mug, which in Chinese they're called gong dao bei. Uh, let's try out, let's try out the, uh, yeah, they're called, while well, he's doing it, let me feel with some information about the fair mug. This is an ancient Chinese porcelain mug for drinking. There is actually, yeah, take a look, see? See, there is nothing coming out, right? Uh, we've got the, the the water, it's filled half of the cup. And now, let's see, when it reaches certain level, the water reaches a certain level, you see? The water comes from the bottom, the hole from the bottom. It started to leak out. Yeah. So there is actually, so there is actually a hole uh, somewhere inside, maybe we cannot see, uh, but so when you feel the water at certain point, so now it started to leak, uh, it doesn't show, but earlier when we feel the water, half of it, the water does not leak, but at certain level, uh, 
when the water is reaching certain level, it started to leak uh, from the hole at the bottom. So this is a uh, actually based on the uh, siphon principle of the in Phoenix. When it's filled, the, the water cannot be too full, and otherwise all the water in the cup would be leak. So actually, it means something because. Uh, it, it is trying to express an idea which is about modesty makes people progress. This is what uh, I would say it's full of the philosophical significance in back in the day in ancient China. And all these are actually uh, the Gong Dao Bei. These are all the fair cup, fair mug. Uh, let me see which one is my favorite. This one looks really, really beautiful. It's like a uh, cultural relics. Like so beautiful, the color. It looks like it's made of jade. It's very beautifully done. Let's see what whoever is watching, please say hi to us. We got Joseph, we got Kathleen, we got uh, um, Mike and Paul and Butch, Tim and Violet. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's probably very late there, wherever you are. Uh, it's very late there. Right now here, this is three o'clock uh, in the afternoon. That's probably very late over there. And uh, whoever, wherever you are, I really appreciate that you guys are watching there. So I hope you like what we just showed you about uh, this uh, mug. This is a peach, I think. Um, so you can see all those uh, I would say fair mug. They all have different shapes, sizes, and color. Uh, back in the day, the ancients liked to uh, use that kind of, uh, I would say, traditional toys um, to express an idea. Like this one, the peach, it represents longevity. And if you give this as, an, as a gift to uh, the elderly, it means that hoping them, uh, hoping, you know, the, the longevity. Uh, express the longevity and also this one is the god of longevity and uh, also is trying to express an idea of the longevity it looks like it's made of uh, jade as well very beautiful yeah and this apple the apple it's not only is beautiful but also it looks like it's a very beautiful ornament and also in traditional Chinese culture, it represents, represents peace. Yeah, sometimes you would see people hand it, like not the one made of porcelain, but the one made of, I don't know, any kinds of material, but you can hand it as a pendant uh, on the, all your uh, school bag, on your backpack, or hang it somewhere inside the house. Uh, the apple, the shape of the apple represents peace and uh, hoping for the peace for your daily life. And let's see, what else do we have? We have uh, this, yeah. This is a cat. It's just a cat, I guess. Yeah, we got a cat and these are all the fair mug. Maybe there's a hole underneath. Let's try, I would say maybe uh, you guys can pick one, whichever fair mug you guys wanted to try out. Let's pick one and try how this uh, siphon uh, siphon principle works, okay, in physics. It ex actually uh, is based on the siphon principle in physics. That's why the water, you know, when it reached a certain level, it wouldn't leak, but after a certain level, after it exceeds a certain level, it would start to leak from the hole at the bottom, which is right here. This is an elephant. I think a lot of the things that we are seeing here in China, they are having the uh, meaning of the auspiciousness or good fortune. Yeah, this one is exactly like that. We can try another one. Maybe this this apple. Let's try this apple. Let's try the apple. Okay, let's see how the apple works. We can try apple. And we are having the curator, Mr. Chu, to showing us to show us how the apple. Ah, how the apple works. <laughs> can you this? No, Chen Teacher, you say. Say. From from So you gotta fill the water from the bottom. So like I said earlier, the meaning of this uh, kind of cup, the leaking cup or the fair mug, uh, in ancient China, it means that, uh, you know, be, take pride of something is okay, uh, but actually don't be too arrogant, don't be too, like, uh, don't be too much, because modesty makes people progress. That's my understanding.
this is actually a warning for ancient Chinese, yeah, to be modest all the time. Yeah. So if the water is too full, that's not good. So we wanted to fill it with uh, just the right amount of water. Water. Hmm. 这也可以用来就是沏茶是吗？可以吗 ？Yeah. So also, so like I said earlier, this is uh, also can be used to uh, fill with the tea, the Chinese tea. So they are not only ornaments. Uh, they're they're not only decorations, but they're also uh, you know can be used to fill the tea, to drink tea. So these are all having practical values. It is actually from the Yongmu people. They used to protect the water from the water. They used to protect the water from the water. 就防止漏水。OK， 要不你有盖儿，有什么的容易掉什么的，是起这作用，后来衍生过来的。啊、uh, ，OK， and also we are having、uh, all kinds of like plants, or we're having see the ox. This is the year of the ox. Take a look, this thing. This is also、uh, see this year. It's the year of the ox. Take a look. So also we are having a lot of the twelve、uh, zodiac signs.、Uh, you know things or images. Or shapes that is based on the、uh, twelve zodiac signs. To wish you guys、uh, good luck throughout a year. Yeah, throughout a year. So you're having something, the zodiac sign of that year that you would have good fortune throughout a year. Yeah. Okay, we have 那个是个鹅吧 That's a goose. 那个是个鹅还是个鸡啊 Yeah, this is definitely the shape. Looks like a、uh, like, like a teapot, like a normal, usual teapot. Teapot. I think it's a goose or a duck, whatever you guys think. Okay, let me see. What do you guys think?、Uh, which one you want us to try out of the、uh, the fair mug? Whichever, you can pick one. You can pick one. Let us try it for you. Okay. Uh, yeah. We see Cheryl. We see David, and Ganesh, and Sunshine, and the Gamma. Jose, Monica, thank you guys for watching. All right, we just showed you this the、uh, fair mug. It's an ancient Chinese porcelain mug for drinking, and、uh, I think what's important is that it's telling people to be modest because modesty makes one progress. This is what's really important. But also at the same time, they are full of、uh, the practical value, and also they are also very good ornaments to be placed at home. So okay, let me pick one that's my favorite.、Um, this apple, it's very cute. I like the color, and also the meaning, the significance of it is that it represents peace, and also these two are very beautiful. These are the things. These two are my favorite one. Why don't you guys pick one that's your favorite? These are the fair mug we're talking about. These are the things that the ancient Chinese to play with in ancient China. They're having thousands of years history, and、uh, they're having high artistic value and ornamental value. So, great job that we are having these things, and great job for Mr. Chu to collect all those things to show us all those things. <coughs> It's a very nice job. All right, let's take a look at what we have. What else do we have?、Um, yeah. So you can see that even ancient Chinese, they do not have television, they do not have、uh, radio, music, iPad, smartphone. They are having all those things to play with for the kids, even for adults. Chinese people also play these things. Yeah, so for adults, they also play these things. So yeah,、uh, we just showed you a sneak peek of what they like to play in ancient China.、Uh, yeah, I think these are all enough <laughs> to, to like to fill their spare time, to have fun with.、Uh, to not only they are having these things as an entertainment, but also they are using these things to, I would say, practice the brain, practice the intelligence. Yeah, they definitely benefit your brain. Yeah, we'll show we'll show you. Why we are saying that their benefit for your brain? Okay, let's see. Let's take a look this one. So I want you guys to take a look how many、uh, happy dolls. I would just call it happy dolls. Okay, the four、uh, the, the happy dolls that we are having.、Uh, how many dolls do you guys think it is having? You guys do the counting and let us know. Okay, you guys do the counting. 
I'm just gonna call it four happy dogs, which in Chinese it's uh, xi wa wa. Uh, and also you can see the image, it's based on the uh, Chinese New Year picture, uh, which you see that a lot in, you see that a lot in uh, the Spring Festival. How many do you think it is having? Okay, let's take a look. We see Monica, it's a Jose, and uh, Robert, and uh, Enrico. I know that we have some delay, but... Oh. Just a second. So take a look. How many do you think it is having? So if we take a look, if we take a look, okay, let me just uh, give you some hints. Okay, if you don't know the answer, let me give you some hints. Uh, if you take a look this way, divide it like, like that, we are having one doll one uh, baby on the top oh. one um, doll on the top and the other one is at the bottom right yeah because the baby's head is on at the at the floor so we, if we divide it like this you can see two and uh, let's see it from the other side if we divide it like like that like that you can see this baby doll is standing right He's standing, he's uh, sort of like uh, touching his head. Touching his head. And uh, yeah, let's see if we divide it like that. Like that. This baby doll is sort of like uh, having his head on, on the floor. So we have another two. So all together we are having four. It's, which is one, two, three, four. You can have four. Yeah, we have four dolls here. So can you tell that if you, you know, just by first look at it? by first sight can you see that no not at all i didn't know i didn't even notice it. it's having four i would be like because the first time when mr cho is asking me how many dogs do you think it is having i said two because i only see two two dogs one is at the top one is at the bottom so this is so much fun and also this is based on the same theory let's take a look what's here yeah okay we are having uh <laughs> Oh, okay, I got it. No worries. So, yeah, it's it's, a, it's actually actually very similar um, based on the same theory. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, if we divide it like that, yeah, let's slow. Okay, my sure. If we divide it like that, you can see that we've got uh, two guys that are riding the horse, one and two, right? Two guys are riding the horse, one and two. If we do it like that, see, that's another two, one and two. Uh -huh, yeah, these are very, very simple, but very interesting thing to, uh, you know, play with uh, for Asian Chinese. This is just, I would say, it shows their ingenuity, uh, you know, back in the day, which is very interesting. I think this is not, um, you know, traditional Chinese toys. It's not only a way for them to pass in their spare time, but also it's, it's just fun. What we saw earlier, this thing is just, I think it's just fun. It's just purely entertainment. Uh, for ancient Chinese, see what what they what did they have? There is no iPad. There's no music, no electronic music, no uh, like uh, you know instruments to play with. So these are the fun things for them. I, actually, for me, I think it's definitely a good way to protect your eyes because right now we have so many digital devices. These are the good things to play with, and it also benefit your brain, benefit your intelligence. This is my opinion. I think this is definitely a good thing. All right, let's move on to, yeah, to the next. Let's take a look at what we have. We've got this thing. Okay, so whoever knows what we're uh, showing you, let us know. I'll give you some, some time. 
You guys tell me what that is. Okay, we got. Let's see. Did I miss any questions? We got David. We got Cheryl. We got Robert. Terrace. We got Bob and、uh, Sunshine. Thank you guys for watching. So, all right, take a look. This thing. This is Waters and Tenon, which you would see this、uh, being used a lot in ancient Chinese houses or architecture,、um, even furniture. Yeah. This、uh, is. You can see.、Um, It's like joint structures、uh, being used in a lot of the、uh, wood, Chinese wood structures、uh, or furnitures.、Um, because in a lot of furniture, in for example, a lot of furnitures in China, ancient China, there is no nails that are being used. They're using these kind of、uh, joints, or the official way call it is the mortise and tenon,、uh, to hold each piece together. See, it's not going to break. The way that it's holding all those pieces, it's not going to break. So that's how those、uh, ancient houses and the,、uh, you know, the、uh, furniture were, you know, put the put together. So take a look. If we wanted to, um, let's open it. Um, 把它拆开，老师 Yeah. So if we open it, how do we put them together? Um,、uh, 你先拆开，对 How do we put them together? So. Uh, we'll have Mr. Mr. Chu to show us how this thing works. See what we see. These are all one, two, three, four, five, six. These are all five pieces of wood, and、uh, you know, after some time, and after you put them together using the、uh, the the yeah, put them together, it can be become a complete furniture or a house. Maybe if you know more pieces of wood would be、uh, would be needed. To complete a house, but see, these are what if you put them together, this 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 thing can be very very tight. It's not going to easily break. So let's put them together. Put them together, 老师您来把它们拼装起来 So Mr. Mr. Chu is going to do it very very fast. He's,、uh, you know, doesn't take too much time to do it. Um, I think this to- this ancient toy definitely shows、uh, the ancient Chinese wisdom. So many ancient Chinese structures they make use of、uh, mortise and tenon joint structure.、Um, you can see how they try to pass the、uh, boring time in ancient China, and this is definitely also a way、uh, for entertainment. I I think this is my understanding. This is also a classical Chinese puzzle game. Wow, that is so cool! Yeah, he did it just like a. In 30 seconds, that's very fast. I, I, my understanding, this is like a classical Chinese puzzle games. If I do it, I don't know if I can do this. No, what I should say, ha. I think it's going to take me forever.、Um, to forever to do this. Even takes me a lot of time to break it. To. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what people are talking. Do you guys have any tips for us? Let us know. Okay. These are the classical. My understanding. This is our classical Chinese puzzle.、Uh, this is official name is called、uh, mortise and tenon. Also being used in ancient Chinese、uh, architecture and ancient Chinese furniture. 怎么开始？如果说我看到这样一个东西，我该怎么怎么开始？一个通用的。通用的 ，like this one. 对，嗯，对称。对称。Okay, yeah, and、uh, find. See how they piece together the、uh, the part that is indented. You wanted to、uh, feel that like this.、Uh, yeah, you see this part is indented. You wanted to feel that so that it's going to hold very tight. Oh yeah. Wow, that's so cool! And then I think it's like that, the mall. No. Ah, okay. See this part. Let me show you one more time. See this part is indented, right? So we wanted to fill that.、Uh, yeah. So it's like that. So these things. See, it's not going to break. And they put this thing here. Ah, 
。看你装错了，它不不平了，你发现不平了吗？对啊，你看，就是这两边不平了。对啊，你看这都平了。啊、oh, ，so the what I did wrong is wrong. He,、uh, Mr. Chair said this is not right、yes. because you wanted to make this part、um, even. Ah.、Uh. Oh, so I did it wrong. Okay. So now it's like a. In line, these two pieces are in line. Ah. There are two different ways. Oh, so there are actually twenty ways to、uh, to play with this thing. So what we did, this is just one of them. That's how ancient Chinese to spare their,、uh, you know, spare time, spend their spare time to have fun with this, to play with this kind of、uh, wood structure. This is called、uh, mortise tenon. Being used in ancient Chinese houses and the furniture, very smart, very smart idea. And not only to have fun, but also to be used in, you know, in the practical world. Great job, 谢谢 Very nice. All right. Last but not least, I think we are having all those.、Uh, these in Chinese they are called 巧环 which I would just call it ingenious rings. They are all. Uh, what in one category? All those are ingenious rings. 嗯，哪一个是九连九九连环是吗？没在是吗 ？Yeah, well, let's let's show you guys. So these are all called uh 巧环 in Chinese ingenious rings. Um, I think the way to play with it is to 把这个拿出来，就是就完成了。Mm. Yeah, to play, uh, to take this ring out, then you would uh, you, then it this is done. But uh, I think it's based on certain mathematical. Uh, I mean, like a math,、uh, math like theory or math.、Uh, I would say principle.、Uh, I don't know how to take it up. I would just. These are all like.、Uh, this is a, a bracelet. It J. Ah,、oh, that is、uh, the nine joint,、uh, nine rings.、Uh, 九连环 in Chinese because there are. 有九个环吧，一二三。Yeah, nine rings here. So these are all the things that they they play with. So we got ingenious rings here, and also we got nine interlocking rings, which this one is based on.、Uh, it's ex it's an extension based on the 巧环 based on the ingenious rings. All right, let's、uh, see if I can help to take this thing off. 应该是这么玩的。Well, okay, let me first try it. And then we'll have Mr. Chu to demonstrate how this thing works. Okay. So if you just started to join us today, we are here at Museum of Ancient Chinese Toys to try out to have fun with all kinds of traditional Chinese toys. All the things you are seeing right now on this table, these are all the things they play with back in ancient China. They're old. Wow, this Qing Dynasty. Wow, this thing is from Qing Dynasty. Wow, this is such a cultural relics. Uh, cultural relic, tong. It's bronze. It's made of bronze and also iron. Wow! See, wow! I I, I think it's too precious. I don't want to. Okay, I'm just gonna touch a little bit. <laughs> wow! This is crazy. You you know, looking at this thing, we'll show you. There's a whole collection of the、uh, ingenious rings and non-interlocking rings that Mr. Chu is actually having collecting here、uh, at the museum. Yeah, well, we are here at the Museum of Ancient Chinese Toys to try out all kinds of things and to know、um, about the ancient Chinese toys and also to show you the wisdom of ancient Chinese people.、Um, okay, let me. Figure out how this thing. I can take it off.、Uh, one of our staff, actually, last time we came here,、uh, he tried to take it off for, I think, at least for an hour or two. <laughs> I saw him doing it. I actually saw him doing it.、Uh, he didn't. He wasn't able to do it.、Uh, so that's why、uh, I'm saying that it's very hard to do. Okay. At the same time, you guys. Uh, you can give me some、um, comments. Okay, Sherry said very awesome. Chris, we see Chris and Jason. We see May. We see Huang, Dave, Carl, Carl Jones. Hi. We see Maxine and and the、uh, Jazz. Thank you guys for watching. All right. So why don't we? Because I can't figure it out. I I can't do anything about it. 
So we, we, what we need to do, 也是把这个环拿出来吧。What we need to do is to take off this ring. Out of this thing look like a maze. Yeah, so I don't think it's it's pretty strange. Why? Why cannot take it up? I, I just think that there's no way for me to. Huh? This is impossible. Okay, let's try one of each. One of each. Okay, see which one would work. So that's what they figured out. In ancient China, this is definitely、uh, such an exercise for your brain. No, why? Okay, let's see. What about this one? This one, take it out. This one, take it out. So you, what you need to do is to take this thing off. This、uh, letter A, you want to. This thing looks like a maze. Uh, nope. Yes. No. <laughs> All right. So I tried. I tried with every one of them. I wasn't able to、uh, take take any of these rings out.、Uh, why don't we have Mr. Che to show us? 老师，您这儿每个都都可以吧？拿出来。Oh, 对对对 Let's have. 好几百种，不光这个，九百多种。Yeah. So there are about.、Uh, yeah. I would say the Mr. Chu said there are about 900 of them、uh, that he is he is having. So let's have him to demonstrate how this、uh, bracelet or any kind of the ring can take it off from this whole thing. Okay, 老师您来展展示一下 Okay, while he is doing it, let me fill you with some information. I would say this is a classical Chinese puzzle game.、Um, so Chu Huan. 这玉，万一我解解坏了，谁出谁赔？那那就别解这个。您您看这个可以吗？啊、不不，我我就是跟观众说，这东西解不开的。解不开是、啊嗯、，so because because this is very precious. This thing looks like a, a jade, a very precious thing that we are having. This is a classical Chinese puzzle game, which was originally created in. Wow, wait, what? That is so fast. What just happened? <laughs> So I have to emphasize that this is not magic. Okay, this is actually cr originally created in China. It's mainly based on topological principle in mathematics. So we are having the nine interlocking、uh, rings and also Chao Huan ingenious rings. These are all based on mathematics. These are based on topological principle in mathematics. So this is a way to play with. So he just took it off. I just feel like it's. So fast and so magical. Even though I didn't see how to do, it. you, 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 叫我把这个拿出来。您教我。Mm. I, I have to have Mr. Chu to teach me how to take it off.、Mm. Mm. So these are things that's that they play in ancient China. Uh huh. We got this golden ring. We wanted to take it off. We're taking it. Yeah. Oh, uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We got one ring that's a, a sort of a. Ah. What? <laughs> what just happened? What? Okay, let me try it again. Okay. I, I, I honestly, it was so fast. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> 怎么开始、嗯、？I am so confused. 我先第一步搁在这儿。啊、uh, ，在这儿。完了，把它立起来。啊哈。这等于相当于两条腿儿。一个腿先。其中一条腿进这里头。先，哦、oh, ，Yeah. So we got one ring tucked in. 进来了。Yeah, and then another.、Oh. 然后还有一个。进来不？现在你看那已经卸了，已经能卸了。对啊。So now, now it's time. Ah.、Oh, woo. Okay. Okay, 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 cool. And now I can put it back like that. So smart! What a genius! Ancient Chinese—they are so full of wisdom. So we are playing all those things that they created back in a day, like thousands of years ago. These are so much fun. What a workout for your for your brain. 
Wow, so smart. So if we have those things, why, why do we need iPad? <laughs> why do we need television, right? These are so cool, such a cool toy. And you can hang it on your backpack. This is such a cool idea, a cool like ornament uh, you put on your backpack. And I think it shows your intelligence, how smart you are, right? You can play tricks. I mean, basically these are not, these are not magic tricks, but you can show your friends uh, how magic, magical that is. <laughs> He's asking if I can do it. Okay, let's try it, okay? Let's try it. So first of all, we wanted to do it like that. And then... Uh, uh, okay, let's try, try it one more time. And then we got one ring. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Like that. And then we can take it off. Whoa! Wow! That's awesome. <laughs> so Mr. Choi was trying to test me if I can do this. So cool. Oh, so we got this and we got this and uh, well, how about this? This one looks a bit different because this one, I think these two looks the same. So yeah, we have done these. Let's try this one because this one is like letter A. See, letter A. We wanted to take this thing off. Okay, this thing looks like a rod. We want to take it off. Uh, it's like similar because we tried, I tried to get that ring off. Uh, Uh, it's hurting my brain. <laughs> ah, I don't know. I, um, so based on what Mr. Cho told, told me, like a couple of days ago, there is this uh, competition that was held for uh, elementary school students or uh, other students who are interested in doing this. It's like there is a competition for that. And uh, it was uh, measured by how fast you can take it off and uh, yeah, the speed, how fast you can take it off and uh, maybe different ways, I guess. So, so you can see the same thing, you can see the same thing. So, there are, yeah, based on the difficulty of uh, this and also the speed of that. So, there is such a competition that was held for the students to do that. Yeah, so there is this competition, annual competition. So I don't know how to do this. I have to ask help. You know, so I have to ask for help. Again, it's created uh, thousands of years ago. Okay, let's see jazz. We see jazz and also we see uh, Carl Jones and also we see um, cricket. Uh, wait, what is it? Was it cricket, yeah. What? <laughs> Every time I was looking at you guys' comments that this thing was take off. Okay, we see Oscar and we see Nate, Karen, George, Phil. Very cool. Mm. Ah, okay. Okay. I think you guys all notice uh, this is the letter A. 我刚错过了,我没看清楚 看这两个。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇。哇
principle in physics, or in mathematics, and also what we showed you earlier about these things. These are all based on uh, physics. So these are all the traditional toys we were talking about that the ancient Chinese, they play with, they used to play with. See, the, these are a whole bunch of things that ancient Chinese can play with, including the uh, fair mug, um, the mortise and tannin, right here, the jigsaw we are talking about, and also ingenious, ingenious rings. Plus, we are having the uh, nine interlocking rings. This thing, this thing looks like an instrument. This is nine interlocking rings. How does thing work? Let's show people. Yeah, so there are nine rings here attached to this thing. We wanted to take each one of them off. Yeah, so if you wanted to take it, take off the whole thing, like each one of them, it takes like a couple minutes. So we wanted to just demonstrate one or two. Okay, let's just demonstrate one or two. Mm. So there's not only like nine interlocking rings, but also there's a different shapes, you know, like uh, horseshoe rings or gourd rings. Uh, based on what Mr. Chu told me, uh, ancient Chinese used to use this kind of method to lock things. Uh, yeah, like to lock the door, to lock the uh, cabinets uh, back in the day. See, this is definitely something. If you're not intelligent enough, you cannot open your own door. <laughs> uh, yeah, and also the hair pains, things like that, even though it doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, uh, he said that people back in the day used that to lock the uh, the door, the cabinet. So you got to be really smart to be able to open your own door. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you started to join us today, we are here at the Museum of Ancient Chinese Toys, and uh, our guest for today is the curator of the museum, Mr. Chu who is uh, very good at playing those ancient Chinese toys and uh, he has a large collection, very rich collection of ancient Chinese toys. Uh, we, today we just showed you a sneak peek of uh, the collection that it's having here, including the, uh, the mug, the fair mug, this is nine the locking rings, and also ingenious rings, uh, also the uh, mortise and tannin, all these things, these are just sneak peek. This one, the one that we are having, I'm having in my hand, there are about 900 of them. Mm. Yeah. Ah. So we just take off one ring, right? Yeah. Okay, see all those time all those time that we spent we just took off one ring off. See this one if you get it down from the top, then that's uh, your winner. Yeah, so all those then you have to you have to take all the rest of them, you know, down over here at this level. So that's how they play with it. It's very complicated to me, it's just Wow, ancient Chinese, they are so full of wisdom. And I'm glad to show you guys, you know, the wisdom um, of the ancient Chinese and show you how they spent their spare time back in the day. I think these are all the things that we are showing. These are not only, you know, have high practical value, but also the uh, ornamental value. I wanted to show you there's a whole select, uh, like, Collection of the uh, ingenious. We have oh, we have this. This is uh, Sun Mao and Jiu Huan's one. This is a uh, 
This is a yeah. We'll just we'll show you the large collection in just a second because I forgot to tell you guys about this thing. This is a toy that's uh, newly uh, developed uh, for kids to play with. In modern days, in modern times, a lot of kids like to, you know, parents like to buy this for their kids to uh, to play with. This is actually um, a mixture. A, a fusion of these two, which is the uh, Mortis and Tannin, this one, and the nine interlocking rings. These are the, the combination created this thing. This is a, I would say it's a creative cultural product and also a toy for kids to play and to exercise the brain, the intelligence, I would say. So, and uh, it's very hard to, the uh, most uh, the ultimate goal is that you wanted to pull this uh, rod thing out of this uh, piece of wood and all those things uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the nine blocks, they're all even. Like there's no that's popping. Like right now, just saying eight is popping. So the eventual goal is to you know even and then take it off. So. Yeah, it's already up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want it to use force to pull it. You gotta use uh, your you know intelligence to help to make things work. See, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chu is trying to show us, demonstrate how this toy is... Uh, mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's based on two things. It's one is the mortise and tenon, the other is the nine interlocking uh, rings. I'm really glad that you guys are watching us. We got uh, Oscar and uh, Steven, Vicky. Thank you guys for watching us. Really appreciate that. We are here at the Museum of Ancient Chinese Traditional Toys, and we learned that the traditional toys has about uh, thousands of years history. Uh, we got eight, uh, one, two, three, and seven. Mm. So this is actually the integral part of the traditional Chinese culture. And uh, you will see why we are uh, telling you that they are a part of the in like, traditional Chinese culture in just a, a few minutes. We'll show you a large collection very soon. Wow, that's how ancient Chinese play with it. It takes a whole day. I would say definitely it takes a whole day to uh, play with that. So no wonder ancient Chinese, they don't have any... Yeah, they don't have any... So I think they have a lot to do back in the day, even though they don't have any electronics. Yeah, so we got uh, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Yeah, almost, almost there. When it's all, see? Yay, we got it. Ah, wow, that's so cool. This is a game based on mortise and tenon and also nine interlocking rings. Wow, it's very complicated. I'm looking at it, but I don't know what's the uh, tricks, what are the tricks? So this is a very complicated thing for us. Very good job, nice job. <laughs> All right, why don't we go inside, take a look at uh, Mr. Chu's collection, large collection. Uh, ingenious rings, there's a large collection about that. And uh, if you just started to join us, we are here at the Museum of Ancient Chinese Toys. And we are here at the balcony, which is a very nice view here. That's why we brought you guys here. Let's take a look at uh, the large collection. I'm really glad you guys are joining us. Please say hi to us if you're watching and share and like this video, okay? Share and like this video. 
So we learned about the traditional Chinese toys and has thousands of years history. And we learned how they spent their spare time hundreds and thousands of years ago. Uh, so what I remember um, yesterday, th these are the, the nine interlocking uh, rings, which was an extension based on the ingenious rings. Uh, some of them are actually cultural relics. Uh, they are from back then in ancient China. Um, they all look like locks, right? Because they are actually locks. Some of them uh, were being used by ancient Chinese as the actual lock. Um, this one, it's having the Chinese character, uh, which is uh, meng in Chinese. That means dream. Zhongguo meng, China dream, that means. Um, they are like in beautiful ornaments, beautiful ornaments, but also having the practical value. Um, Oh. oh, okay. Okay. This is from the Qing Dynasty. Oh, oh, don't touch it. Wow. Yeah, this is very exquisite and uh, looks very precious from the Qing Dynasty. Wow. So people started back in the day started to play with it. You can see the uh, ancient uh, Chinese lady here on the top of it. It's a, it is a decoration. It is a decoration. So we just showed you. We just. Yeah, we just showed you earlier that the way to play with it is to get these rings, you know, to the bottom of this side, yeah, to the other side. And also I wanted to show you that this is what I noticed. These are all bells, um, ancient Chinese bells that, it, that is hanging. Uh, you know, some of them has very unique decorations um, that are used on this uh, line interlocking um, rings, which is a traditional Chinese toy. Oh, this is iron. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's not um like a uh, yeah. I think it's based on very complicated way to uh to make that. Mm, okay. 这个怎么挂上去啊？我这么挂的，这么挂的。这个应该也是打造的。Yeah, it's it's made of iron, and it looks like there's nails and that's hanging at the bottom. See, that looks like iron. Yeah. Okay. And you can see this is made of bronze. Um, you can see at the top of it, it looks like it's uh, uh there's a certain shape. This is uh, it. This means uh, auspiciousness. Yeah, that is actually the shape of the cloud. Uh, it is uh, represents the auspiciousness. So a lot of things back in the day, you can see that's already having incorporated with all kinds of uh, auspicious meanings. That's uh, you know would incorporate that into the uh, traditional Chinese toys. This is made of bronze. You can see that there's a lot of culture and history that are incorporated into the traditional Chinese toys and also to express a hope um, or express an idea. And also I wanted to show you that this is what I have noticed. Uh, it looks like a comb. This is in modern times, what's made in modern times. It looks like a comb. I can comb my hair, which I do need right now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The way that you wanted to take it off. Is Why? Yeah. <laughs> he wants me to take this thing off. It looks like a letter A. Um. He's, uh, I think Mr. Choi is trying to test me to take this thing off. But A is It's uh. No. I can't do that. <laughs> Why? He's trying to test me. See if I have learned anything. Really? Ah, didn't work. Maybe this is a very easy one. That's why he's trying to see if I can do this.
Okay, bear with me, you guys. I'm trying to work on my. <laughs> Mirror chat didn't work. I don't know. Uh oh, didn't work. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. It's there's a whole large section about the uh, mind locking on uh, toys we are having. Let's see if there's there's any unique shape sheet. The one at the top with, with the yellow uh, dragon. Uh, that's what they have. This is what year? That green dragon. Oh, this is just uh, from 90, uh, from uh, 50s and 60s. Um, it's not like a long, long time ago. Not like this one. This is Qing Dai, right? Yeah. It's made of. Uh, I think I tried a, the technique of the iron making um, to uh, you know create this thing. It's not as old as this one. But that one, which uh, what I wanted to point out is that it's having the uh, dragon um, as the head because the uh, dragon it's uh, represent it represents uh, the power, the strength, the wealth. So you know, a lot of the images you would see in ancient China, we would see uh, auspiciousness, the symbols and patterns of auspiciousness. Yeah, we we'll go this way and let's take a look at what uh, Mr. Chu. Wanted to show us, 老师，您要给我们看什么东西 ？This is actually, 老师，您先把它带上。您先带上这个戒。This is actually, uh, whoa. How do I play this thing? Hmm. We see Xiao is here. We see Dave and the William and the Frederick. I'm really, I really appreciate you guys for watching us because right now, I think it's your bedtime, or I don't know wherever you guys are at. Uh, because I think maybe. It's very late there, uh, so thank you guys for watching us and please share and like this video. We see Jay, Jamie, Great, and Travis. Yeah, let's take a look at what Mr. Uh, Mr. Choi is having. See, he's got a. You probably think that he is having a ring, right? But actually, this is not. Let's take it off. Take it off. This is actually a traditional Chinese toy. Uh, check it out. See, you can use it as a ring, but also at the same time, it's a. Uh, Ingenious ring that we are talking about. Yeah, you can play with it. That this is how to play. This is how to combine. 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 You just put them together, and it's not only a toy, but also they are have practical value and ornamental value. You can, you know, beautify your wrist, things like that. So yeah, put them together. It's a ring. Yeah, this is very cool. This is 什么年代？是清代。清代 from Qing Dynasty. It's made of silver. Let's take a look at the pattern. Okay, let me see first. Uh, 这上面的装饰，民间故事。Oh, it's a folk tale. See that's uh, that's being carved on this ring. It's a folk tale. I see two characters there. Very very cool. Wow, this is uh, magnificent. This is also a necklace. This is also a necklace. That's a ring too. Who would have that big uh, of a thumb or like a finger? This is how big it is. It can be made into a necklace. It can be made into a small necklace. It can be made into a small necklace. Oh, so oh yeah, this is actually you can. Uh, let's see what's what happened. Mm. What happened? Because I didn't know we have this thing. Ah, okay. <laughs> this is my ring. Look, you can actually. Uh, Mister says that you can. You can actually make it smaller, um, so that it, it would become a ring. If it's like that small, it's for people who having smaller, like really tiny wrist, uh, to use as a bracelet. But this is very beautiful. Look, it's also based on the principle of the. Uh, or the traditional Chinese toy, the nine interlocking rings. Very cool, very cool. All right, let's take a look here. This whole section, we'll take a look. This whole wall of section is ingenious rings. You can see all kinds of uh, shapes, colors. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I wanted to show you guys. This is a teapot. Look at the shape. And what you do, you wanted to get this thing out of this teapot. That's how you play with it. This is a teapot. And uh, 
this is a full character, which uh, for those of you who have been watching our show, you know that full character means good fortune. You see that a lot in the spring couplets, uh, or during the tra tra traditional Chinese New Year, the spring festival. Uh, also, oh, take a look. Oh, that's a car. <laughs> wow, that's a car. Look at that little car. Very interesting, cool, play, cool things for the kids to play with. Uh, yeah, this uh, is a train, huh? The, the train, and also there's this little, see, the high heel. This is what I'm wearing. <laughs> the high heel, uh huh. Oh, yeah, and the next, the thing that's next to it that's a pier. Interesting, that's a pier, yeah. Wow, very interesting. All kinds of shapes and sizes. <laughs> That's a tiger? It's a Oh, it's a mouse. Okay. Yeah, so you see, the ingenuary, ingenious range has all kinds of shapes, sizes. Oh, this is the uh, traditional Chinese of uh, longevity, which is in, uh, which is a uh, show in Chinese, but it's the traditional way to write that character. All right, if, I hope you guys are having fun today. Yeah, so I think that should be a wrap for today's live stream. Today we are here at the Museum of Ancient Chinese Toy, and I hope you guys had fun today and we learned about you know, the traditional Chinese toy has about thousands of years history and we we'll learned that it's a very in in integral part of the traditional Chinese culture. And I hope you guys had fun today to play with all those traditional Chinese toys. And I really want to appreciate, we don't guys any appreciate mm. Mr. Chu's help for showing us his large collection of all those traditional Chinese toys. And I'm Carol Gu. Thank you so much for spending time with us and I'll see you next time. Bye.